Okay, so quick video here. This is the rough prototype, <clears throat> 10 inches overall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three and a quarter inch cutting edge, but the final prototype is going to be about two and three quarter to three inches, a little bit narrower. The finger grooves are going to be a little bit more pronounced as well. But basically, the idea came to me. I had a couple other prototypes that had basically a chisel style bevel right here, like a draw knife, where you'd sharpen it, you'd roll the edge with a burnishing tool, and then that burr would be your cutter. Well, a while back, I bought a Stumac scraper. And this thing, this is probably one of my favorite tools when I'm chasing a ring. Just the ability to get in all the little nooks and crannies. It's, it's amazing. But the way you sharpen this, I've seen people do it with a, with a grinding wheel, but I just use my disc sander. Put a marker all the way around it to mark it. And then I just kiss the entire perimeter and it's good to go. So basically what it does is you get that perfect flat right here and then each side ends up a 90 degree cutting edge. Now this guy here isn't, isn't as hard, the cutting edge, as far as the Rockwell hardness from the tempering. It's not as hard as I'd like. So this one I have to touch up. Basically every about every bow I make, I have to touch up the edge. With the final product, I won't know until I test it, but I'm hoping to get two or three bows between sharpenings. So you're gonna have better longevity on it. But even so, when you sharpen it, you're only taking off a couple thousands. But, and then to see it in action, give me one sec. So you can cut on the pull or the push. You get some nice thick scrapings like that. I think you get a little bit more control on the pull, on the draw, but you get these nice, nice fat boy shavings. Or you can put a little less pressure into it for finer, finer tillering, finer detail. It still pulls nice curls, but you can control you can control the aggressiveness of it. Run on along your corners to round them off so you don't get your splinters. That's about all it is.